everyone to DBX Labs. Today we're going to be making bromine from pool chemicals. We are going to be using this bromine in an upcoming video to make isocyanogen tetrabromide, which will later be used to make isocyanogen tetraazide, or otherwise known as azetoazide azide, the most powerful explosive ever, or so some people say. This synthesis is extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone. Bromine is poisonous and its vapors are extremely corrosive. Do not try this at home. So here's our setup. It's a pretty standard distillation. Only difference really is the, um, uh, the excess bromine is going to go here into some sodium hydroxide to neutralize it. Just turn that into sodium bromide again. And um, hopefully we can close, close off all sources of escape, all the joints are uh, greased pretty well with sulfuric. And now to 30 grams of TCCA, this 30 grams is only 40% by weight, I'm going to add 100 milliliters of water, actually it's 150, a little bit more than that. But the water really doesn't make a big difference in this. Now I'm going to add in a stir bar. We'll start that stirring. Now I'm going to add 40 grams of our sodium bromide. And we can already see a reaction. Now we are going to add 20 milliliters of 31% hydrochloric acid. Now that we've added everything to the Erlenmeyer, we can see that there is a little bit of bromine fuming right there. And we're going to start heating this up and hopefully we can get this to around 80 degrees Celsius. Keep it around there. The boiling point of bromine is in like the upper 50 degrees Celsius. I forget what it is exactly, but it's no higher than 60. And uh, hopefully we can just distill over all the bromine without distilling over that much water and hopefully without distilling over any HCl at all. It's just starting to distill over and we can see these beautiful little droplets of bromine that are refluxing right here. distillation is now complete. Now we're going to disassemble the apparatus and make sure all the bromine is in the collecting chamber and then we'll transfer the bromine into some ampules for long-term storage. So my yield from the first distillation was right around 17.5 grams of bromine. And that's a pretty good yield. And well, not really. It's it's like half of what it could have been. So roughly a 50% yield. And I think there's still a lot of unreacted sodium bromide in here. So I'm going to add some more chlorinator to that, the TCCA. And hopefully we can heat it up again and see some more distillation. To 
start the release of chlorine from the TCCA, I also have to add in some hydrochloric acid again. I've reinstalled the collecting Erlenmeyer and now we're ready to go for a second distillation. Here's our second batch of product. All in all, from our 40 grams of sodium bromide, I recovered 28 grams of elemental bromine. And I have it stored in these ampules right here. One of the ampules was cracked upon sealing, and I quickly disposed of that. Wasn't too violent of a reaction disposing of that bromine, but that accounts for a loss in the yield, I guess, even though I did have it. The first ampule I filled, there was a little bit of water that got in. Probably isn't pure water. Uh, likely has some contamination of hydrochloric acid or even hydrobromic acid but that's in there and just to discard of this bromine since it really doesn't have much use with that contamination we'll do some reactions with it to crack open the ampule it's as easy as snipping off the top and pouring it in <laughs> 